All right, Hank here for another one of Hank's tips. Today we're going to be doing back glass restoration. As you know, these back glasses are great, but sometimes they get a little faded and chipped, and you got to like touch them up with a paint and all, like to get a little dirty. And you don't want to be like uh, messing them up or anything like that. Make them good as new. So today we're we're going to be doing a little bit of back glass restoration. This is a great opener I got from some cruise in Alaska a cousin of mine took. Yeah, first you gotta clean up anything and get on the, the back glass. Sometimes from eBay or you know those auctions and such, there's all sorts of writing on them. You don't want that cluttering up your display. You just clean that right off. Gene Hoosenberry, I can't read that. DeForest Kylie, I don't know who that guy is. I don't know why you've been writing. Maybe you own the game or something. All right, for these here back glasses, a lot of times the paint gets kind of flaked and it gets worn. I'll show you. Here, here's what, what usually happens with these things. Okay, you see down in here, let me get this out of the way, how the paint kind of flakes up. Yeah, you don't want that. Well, yeah, that's no good. I mean, you got to, like, make sure this stuff doesn't happen. And what we'll do is we'll touch this up and uh, kind of replace some of the paint that flakes. Yeah, this is no good. I mean, this this means your paint's getting all dried up. It's flaking off. You can't have that. Yeah, make sure before you start painting, you got it nice and clean. Good thing to do, just, you know, a little beard. Yeah, that'll come right off. That'll be nice and, nice and clean. Yep. Charlene, where's my touch-up paint? I gotta redo this back glass here. All right. Well, these will work good enough. All right, what you gotta do is match the colors the best you can. These work pretty good on the back glass. They just find the right color and you just kinda fill it in. Works just great. You do that real careful like and you get a good back glass restoration. You just watch. All right, first thing you do is you kinda color match the color that you wanna fill in. This one's pretty much yellow. Sometimes I mix in a little red. It goes right, right here, like this. All right, then you mix in a little red. There we go. You just kind of eyeball it. You can figure it out. You can see if the color's good or not. Ah, fill it in good and light. If any loose pieces come off, just blend them in as well. Black highlighter, so let's get the lines in. There we go. Get, like his foot, you gotta get his foot dry in real good light. All right, you can see here we gotta match a little more yellow. If you don't like that, just move a little little more of the paint off. There we go. You don't get the original color back in. Get that matched in. Actually, I like orange. It's my favorite color. If you feel like it, you can just make it you know, a little more colorful than it originally was. Sometimes it didn't do a good job printing these up, so if you can make it a little better, that's, that's good. I've got here some of the yellow. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a little too red. I don't like how this blue's kind of lining up here. Maybe just kind of peel up a little more. Uh, it doesn't match up right. You just kind of help her out there. Yeah, the original color ain't holding. Just take more of the original cover, color off. There we go. All right, make sure you get all of this cleaned up. There we go. That'll blend it in great. Kind of blend it in. Use your finger if you want. Oh, there we go. For this hard to get shots. A little bit of 80 grit sandpaper. That works pretty good too. Then just make sure you don't scratch things up a little too much. You get a sanding block and that'll just do some fine touch up. Alright. Alright, if you want to do some custom job, what I like, uh, Hank, Hank recommends you do the evil Kirk. Where he's got the goatee and the evil spot. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Even the evil Uhura. I like that one there. Reminds, reminds me of my favorite episode where they got, you know, stuck in some alternate universe. Everybody had goatees. You know, you just do that. All right. You have yourself a custom back glass that no one else has. Press your friends. All right. These markers, they just ain't blending in right. Usually you can spray paint over it. So what I got here, well, the only color I really got, I guess, is red. We'll just kind of highlight that. That'll make it, you know, a good base color. And if you feel like you can go on top of that. If uh, one of your displays ain't working right, well, you just cover that puppy right up with some black. That worked just great. And you won't be able to tell if the you know, display's burned out or something ain't working right. 
Last thing you want to do is seal it, make sure everything's, all the paint stays good and tight and doesn't flake up again in pieces. So you just kind of spray this over. All right, you can also customize the back glass. Like, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. I didn't really watch this show, but I like uh, this Picard guy. I'm like, maybe I'll just modify the back glass and I'll have a new game, you know? I just put this guy's face over it. Yeah, sure, Bob. That'll look good in anybody's game room collection. All right, look at that. Good to go. All right, so today you learned all about back glass restoration on Hank's Pinball Repair Tips. Hope to see you soon next time. Bye.